एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय ऑनलाइन ज्योग्राफी क्लास केएसके ज्योग्राफी आई नो यू आर वेटिंग फॉर दिस वीडियो राइट व्हिच वीडियो दैट इज ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप आई कैन सी देयर आर सो मेनी मैसेजेस रिक्वेस्ट फॉर दिस ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप वीडियो आई एम हियर विद द ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप यू नो वी विल गेट ऑल दोस मार्क्स वेरी इजीली नाउ आई एम हियर टू हेल्प यू प्लीज बी कनेक्टेड टिल द एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द ट्रोपोग्राफिकल मैप पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन वेयर यू नो यू विल नॉट लूज द मार्क्स राइट सो बेसिक things about the topographical map you know here students generally they has to lose maximum marks but don't worry i am here i'll help you to get good marks in the topographical map first of all you no know, this topographical map is the compulsory part you know there is no other option generally that's why you know it looks complicated student used to avoid those things but don't avoid don't need to neglect those things i'll give you the simple easy tricks where you know you need to apply those tricks only and you will get good marks right 10 marks question you can't avoid right next easy to score i'll give you the tricks don't worry then required regular practice but right now is very less time is there for your you know exam but don't worry before the exam save that video before the exam on at that exam day just recap this chapter with this small videos only that it will help you to get good marks next one more important thing topographical map according to your syllabus what you need to do you need to just practice two topographical map what are those two topographical map that is g43s7 and g43s10 these are the two topographical map only you need to practice nothing more than that right so one by one we'll discuss as per the topic what type of question it will be asked and what are the easy tricks to be apply so you can get those marks so first four figure key difference as you have observed till the pre board exams right first question from the topic of the map generally it is to be given for you have to find the four figure grid reference now how to find the four figure grid reference as i said you just need to apply simple concept of l simple concept of l l means l means what just you know when you are writing l how you are writing you are making this vertical line first then the horizontal line vertical line first then the horizontal line so obviously generally student are confused what to take first easting or or northing so vertical line vertical line means the easting so you need to take first that easting and then the northing now how to do just l you need to put suppose here you need to find out the four figure grid reference for the village vatna so remember one thing vatna is written here but what you need to locate you need to locate where the settlements are there means the red color boxes which place it is there more so here you can see red color boxes are there much more in that particular box in that particular box red color boxes are there much more those are the settlement you don't need to bother where the vatna is written right so this area where the settlements are there you need to find out the location so what you need to do here simply you need to mark it like this right here is the l so l if is this one so the vertical line vertical line means what is the number is showing it is showing 47 it is showing 47 now the northing northing you can see the horizontal line what is the number given number given that is 13 so what will be the four figure grid reference that is 47 and 13 that is your answer that's very simple right one more tricks l you need to remember and which corner you need to take there is also sometime there is a confusion so what you need to do you just need to remember one thing l l means that l l for left so this one is the left right this one is the left and this one is a low lower right so these two concept you need to remember l for left l for lower so it means the south west corner you need to take that's it four figure grid reference i don't think you will get any problem now to finding the four figure grid reference and one more thing that here you need to write only 4713 there will be no gap no comma nothing just 4713 you will get those one marks easily now next another important part that is the contours and the contours interval very very important what is contour contour generally is to be shown with the brown color line contours means brown color line now what is the definition please study the definition from your textbook right that is very commonly asked question what is contour the define contour or define contour interval now contours what is contour contour means the height from the sea level the height from the sea level right that is contour please use the proper geographical term to answer those question and contour interval contour interval means the gap between the 
two successive or consecutive contours. Yes, the successive and consecutive. These two terms is very important, right? You need to use these two terms. That examiner is going to check those two words only, right? So you need to use the consecutive or successive contours. Otherwise, the answer it will be wrong, right? And one more very commonly asked question that is, what is the contour interval given on the map? That's very easy, my dear. What you need to do for all the topographical map contour interval is always 20 meters and that also it will be written on your topographical map here you can see contour interval that is 20 meters just you need to write what is the contour interval given on the topographical map contour interval given on the topographical map 20 meters that's it right you can get those answer very easily but as i said use the proper term right proper keywords you need to use then only you will get this marks that's very easy right now go for the next here few identifications it will be there what are the identification steep slope gentle slope and hill steep slope gentle slope and hill how will get the slope how will get the knowledge about the slope now very easy tricks if you will see no contours line it means the brown color patches if it will be close congested it means there are, there are the steep slope and if it will be far away it means there are the gentle slope so here you can see this part this part you can see the contours line are very you know congested you can see the brown color lines are very congested it means there is a steep slope and now this side this side you can see is contours lines are far away from each other contours lines are far away from each other it means there are the gentle slope right so steep slope gentle slope is very easy now hill for hill i am giving one important clue remember for hill hill i am giving some important tricks how you will find out the hill hill you will see the brown color contours line it will be concentric circle pattern right here you can see the concentric circle patterns are there just observe this much portion concentric circle patterns is there and in the middle you can see that is one four two six is written that is a spot height we will discuss about the spot height later on right so when you such type of pattern you will see so it means no contours are going away from each other the value it will go down and toward the center it will be more the peak it will be there it means those are the hill so you can find out those things very easily steep slope gentle slope and hill right so those things also it become very easy now now next here few important definition you need to know right you need to identify what are those triangulated height triangulated height remember always it will be given on the topographical map with triangle along with the triangle some number it will be written so here you can see along with the triangle the number is written 1327 and the triangle it means what that is a triangulated height triangulated height means this height has been measured not going to the particular place actually that has been measured by the trigonometric concept like sin theta cos theta that you have done in mathematics right so by using those concept you know we got the height of the particular place that is triangulated height now another more important term that is a spot height spot height how will get spot height it will be marked in the topographical map with black dot black dot and along with the black dot some number it will be written there here you can see along with the black dot what is the number written 842 it means the height of the place is 842 meters from the sea level right that is the you know spot height just you need to know the definition of all those things and you need to identify right next one benchmark benchmark is another more important features how it will be written it will be written like bm right bm it will be written along with the bm some number so i'm writing here 240 so bm 240 that point it means the height of the place is 240 meters but how it is written bm bm means the benchmark bm means the benchmark generally what happened survey took long time to conduct all the survey so survey are what they used to do generally on the fixed landforms or tree or in such fixed height places they just mark the symbols they just mark the symbols with bm and the number so next time when they will do the further you know, survey in that area so they can take it as a reference right they can take it as a reference and they can do the you know survey further right another more important feature that is the relative height or relative depth right you need to be very careful for relative height and relative depth right what when it will be written with black color it means that is relative height and when it will be written with blue color it means relative
relative depth and how it will be written with smaller some number it will be written and then the smaller suppose it will be written 5 and then the small r 5 and then the small r it means the height of the place not from the sea level here height of the place from the surrounding area that is 5 meter and like you know along with the river line if it will be written in black color 5 r it means height of the river bank is 5 meter and in the river if it will be written 5 r in blue 5 r in blue it means the depth of the river is 5 meter so similarly it will be given along with the oil tank or all such features uh, you know like the embankment and all so you have to answer according to that right so now let's go for the next so here you can see you need to understand the topographical map through the colors right if you will see the yellow color so it means that indicate the agricultural field you need to be careful about you know all those colors so I'm just giving few colors here you can see if it is there in yellow color it means that is the agricultural field if there will be green patches like this it means those are the forest area right and if you'll see white patches it means those are the barren land and if you'll see the blue color like this it means those are the water bodies right so in that way just you need to remember few important colors those colors if you'll remember you know that will serve the purpose right so next here you can see identification and definition of type of scale that is very very important you need to remember all the definition like what is scale right the definition you need to remember you know that definition you need to remember and there are three types of scale uh, are there and all the three types of scale it will be mentioned in your topographical map and you can see this type of things you will get along with your topographical map so there are three types of scale what are those the scales are three types like statement scale or verbal scale statement scale or verbal scale it means it will be written in statement form right next one rf it means representative fraction representative fraction that the scale it will be given as for the fraction right and another one the graphical scale graphical scale another name of graphical scale that is linear scale now here you can see generally question it will be asked what is the statement scale given on the map or what is the rf scale given on the map right so how will get it statement scale as i said it will be there in the form of statement it means here you can see the statement scale given that is two centimeter to one kilometer two centimeter to one kilometer simply you need to write and that it will be same for all the topographical map so you know you can write it two centimeter to one kilometer that is the statement scale but you no know, sometimes student is to make mistake in place of two their writing is equal to that is wrong you need to write the same thing two centimeter to one kilometer next one as i said rf scale it means representative fraction it will be given as for the fraction so here the representative fraction for all the map it will be same what is that that one is to fifty thousand one is to fifty thousand it means one centimeter on the map represent actually fifty thousand centimeters on ground right so those are the definition uh, of scale and you need to along with that you just need to remember advantage and disadvantage of all the different type of scale right next important part that is a uh, measuring the distance on the topographical map for that you need to use the simple tricks that you need to carry your 10 division scale as i mentioned right along with the 10 division scale what you need to do you know according to 2023 syllabus there will be only direct distance you need to measure right so with this help of scale you can measure the distance very easily now how like two village right two village distance you need to measure so for that you need to remember one thing village almost center point you need to take suppose here uh, the dantpur is there so dantpur village is here so what is the center point of the dantpur village center point is this one right so mark that one and another one the dabani dabani is another village so here you can see this is the dabani and center point is almost here center point you can see is here so what you need to do just two points these two points only you need to measure the distance along with the scale like here you have to put the scale and you will get the distance here you can see the distance is almost 21 centimeters right almost 21 centimeters whatever distance it will come in fraction you need to write all those things so how what will be the steps to answer those questions so distance on the map you need to write it here distance on the map that is 21 centimeter right so that 
that's not final right that is the distance on the map what you need to do that you need to measure the distance on actual ground so what you have to do you know the, what is the statement scale that is 2 centimeter to 1 kilometer so here if it is 21 centimeter so what will be the actual distance on ground just you need to divide by 2 I repeat just you need to divide by 2 right so what you have to do it here the 21 centimeter divide by 2 is equal to it will come 10.5 that it will be kilometer mark it that kilometer point is very very important here kilometer point is very very important here right now another important part that is the area calculation for area calculation what you have to do just you know as per the question you don't need to take or check the topographical map even what you have to do area means the no difference between the northing just mark it area means different between the northing multiply with different between the easting I repeat different between the northing multiply with different between the easting so you will get how many boxes are there and each box represent one square kilometer it means the total area it will be there as per the multiplication whatever digit it will come that much square kilometer mark it you need to write square kilometer that unit is very very important here right so in that way you will be able to to do the you know area calculation as well as distance calculation one more tricks right generally student used to make mistake you know in area calculation also they are dividing by two i am giving you the simple tricks what is that that for d for distance and d for division for distance calculation you need to divide for area calculation only multiplication it will be there there will be no division right so now next very important part that is the you know direction you need to find out the direction now how will find out the direction for that you know simple tricks you know the north south east west generally student is to get confused regarding east and west i am giving you the simple tricks how to remember right cardinal direction means what here you can see this side is the north top is north down portion is south now east and west how will remember remember the word we we means we all so here you can see w and here you write e so means west and east right west and east and now you know, simple tricks you need to apply it here but here you need to remember you need to be very careful regarding from and to in the question from this village to that village what what is the direction right or what is the flowing direction of the river so how will find it out so here you can see you know here if the question it will be there what is the cardinal direction of Andhra from Sergra right Andhra is here Sergra is here so what you need to do just you need to you know draw one line or you know imaginary line so from Sergra to Andhra so here you can see that is the direction now what you have to do just you need to apply the simple trick here you know what will be the direction so basically you know if here it is going like this so what will be the direction that direction it will be north that direction it will be northeast right and one more trick regarding cardinal direction don't write east or west first you need to write you know north and south first so this direction it will be northeast direction if you are talking about the this portion direction so it will be southeast southeast and if it will talk about this direction so here it means that is a as I said north and south first and then the east or west then it means southwest and this direction means northwest don't write west north then it will be considered as a wrong answer right that's it for today right we'll come with the other part of the topographical map so in that video we'll compile all the topographical map problem and you know you need to subscribe the channel so you can get those video very easily and you can get good score in the topographical map hope you enjoyed this video subscribe the channel so you can get those next video easily and i'm quite sure you'll flourish with the mark thank you very much